Hey, I'm Rob Issam, and a number of years ago, I had the incredible honor of speaking at Ron Ramune's um, memorial service, and Ron was an incredible friend, uh, father figure to me. Um, so anyhow, just today I was thinking that there was uh, something that I wish I had said during that, um, during um, what I, my remarks at his memorial service. And there were just so many amazing people in attendance and, and Ron attracted just incredible people into his life and really all, all walks of people. Um, he's just such a magnetic and fantastic guy and such a giving, caring person. So uh, one of the things that I, I wished that I had said is I, I wished I'd asked everybody in attendance to sort of take a look around. Um, I know that there's people there would have known some of the people and then there would have been others in attendance that they had not met before. Um, but just to take a moment and, and really look around the room and, and see everyone that's there. And then um, imagine that from like that moment forward that we all had the same connection that each of us individually had with Ron. Um, because that's what he would have like his caring and connection with each one of us, um, he would have loved for us to have that with one another. And it was easy for him. Um, and then I would ask everybody to imagine that like, so you just have this room, I don't know, there's 100 people, 150 people there. And you share, you now share that depth of connection and that meaningful level of connection with every person in that room. And then I want you to imagine that like when you leave the service on that day and you walk out into the world, that every person that you encounter, you also have that depth of connection and that level of caring um, for that, for those people. Um, and how that might change your life and how Ron might change your life. Like, is that type of thing? Like when he walked into the world and he would interact with people, whether it was someone that was making him a sandwich or whether it was someone that was delivering something to his door or whether it was a kid on the court next to him. Um, you know, he, he was so easy to, um, to have a deep, meaningful connection with and then um there was so much more immediately like he i mean if you were open to interacting with ron um he would enrich your life um just with his caring and his words and his thoughtfulness um i mean he he didn't know me at all so amazing in that uh, you know he saw that I was like really trying at this sport that he loved uh, and, and I was a good friend of Eric's um, and then he immediately kind of invested in me emotionally and, and with great care um, took time to take me kind of under his wing um, and, and, he, and it wasn't it wasn't something that was special um, I mean it was special but it wasn't unique to me um, that was the quality of interaction that Ron had with many many people so I guess the challenge that we all left that day or you know we like when Ron came into our lives then this challenge was raised to us you know like he challenged us to be as as caring and as interested in other people and in helping them improve. I mean, it was all about making, helping people to become a fantastic version of who they are. Like, and, and it wasn't, I mean, he would meet you right where you were and then try, if you were interested in this, he would, he would, but he might try to inspire you to be interested in taking yourself to the next level in whatever it might be. It could be in your 
diet, it could be in your yoga practice, it could be in your Tai Chi practice, it could be in your tennis practice, it could be in your marriage. Um, so anyhow, I had that thought. Uh, and if anybody who is in attendance at Ron's service sees this, uh, if you're ever interested in connecting with me, um, that would be wonderful. And if you're ever in Roanoke, Virginia, and you want to stop by and have coffee or come by for tea or hit a few tennis balls uh, or go for a walk, um, hang out with my family, you're welcome here at my home. Um, anyhow, cheers, love you all, and uh, thanks for watching.